YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my two favorite setting sprays right now. I have the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray, and then I have Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night, Stay All Day. So at first I was gonna do two separate videos, but I used these together, so I figured I might as well show you guys how I actually use them. So as you can see, my makeup is done, but my face is in its full oily goodness. So this is how I set my makeup, and especially what I've been doing this summer. So I start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush first. Hold that back. Do that. And then while that sprayed a little bit, I'm gonna just, normally I would be walking around, getting my outfit together, <laughs> doing all the other things that I need to get done. But while we're waiting for this to dry down, I'm gonna just tell you a little bit more about why I like this setting spray. It's very good for all skin types. If you have oily skin, it might leave you more shiny than you would like. That's why I usually come in with this. But I don't think it's nothing that a little blotting powder or face powder can't tamper down. Um, but if you have really excessively oil skin, then you might want to stay away from this. It's super duper long lasting. Your eyeshadow, lashes, brows, everything's going to stay. As you can see, with bra I have braids in my hair right now. Sometimes the braids rub off my eyebrows. But when I use this setting spray, that never happens. So when it literally says stay all day, it's going to stay. So I really, really love that for me. It looks lifelike. It has like a natural skin finish. The parts of your makeup that are highlighty, glowy, still glow, and that's why it is phenomenal and why I like it. Um, I have sensitive skin. It does have fragrance, so if you're sensitive to that, you might have an issue, but I didn't have any allergic reactions, redness, or irritation. So, um, love this one, and I bought the mini because I don't really go through setting sprays that fast, so I figure if I'm gonna be testing multiple ones, we're gonna go small. Now that this is dried down, the next step is I go in with the milk um, matte one. Now this one, on the back, it has a whole white label that says you better shake this thing up if you want it to work. So I really go in and make sure I shake it, shake it, shake it up so that way it won't be any issues. And then I hold it back and it does have, the circle is like hard to see on this so I do try to make sure I line my finger up with it. Ooh. And then this one's gonna be fun. You guys keep watching, pay attention to my face so you can see the dry down. But, um, cause it's gonna dry matte. Even though it's a little wet right now. And like I said, using these two setting sprays, it is a process. So definitely if you're trying to do your makeup fast in a hurry and you have a sweaty face, only use this and then run out the door. If you're trying to do your makeup quick, fast in a hurry and you don't have time for multiple layers drying and you have dry skin, use this one run out the door but if you need your makeup to be bulletproof you're going to a wedding you're doing a full day activities if you're doing brunch day party friend's house dinner then coming home then, <laughs> then you're gonna need bold setting sprays and it's gonna dry down matte so as you can see it's starting to dry down so in terms of my nose oiliness it's not that bad my forehead is still wet up here because I went back into that extra down spray. So it's still doing that. My chin is starting to mattify a little. So even though it's still wet on my face, you can see it's starting to slowly dry down and get that mattifying effect. So, um, which we might not be here long enough on this video for it to fully dry down. I will say um, that's one negative about both these setting sprays. While you're getting ready and getting dressed, it's not that bad. Because, especially me, I don't normally like to put on all the accoutrements while I'm doing the makeup. That way, like, the fallout from, I'll be in, like, a robe. So that way, the fallout from the eyeshadow and stuff won't get in my clothes and my hair and everything. So at this point, I might be doing, like, a little hair moment. I might be getting my jewelry together. So the waiting five minutes for each one to dry down is not bad while I'm getting ready. But in a moment, like, now when I'm sitting down, like, I'm trying to show you guys the mattifying effect. And you can still see the shininess on my forehead because it's still drying down. And not gonna lie, I'm probably not gonna sit here for five minutes and wait for it to dry down. But um, as you can see, it's starting to get the mattifying. So on my cheek, I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm Sunset. And it is still highlighty and shiny, which is what I love that it keeps that 
highlight sparkle but then in terms of like my upper lip which is usually shiny my chin which is usually more shiny my forehead is the only one I almost want to like rub it in or tap it down I feel like that's gonna help a little bit so um you can see for the sides of my forehead it's starting to come down but that's center part she sometimes I do have to go back with a little quick powder just to get my forehead but um also sometimes i want my skin to look real lived in like i just i have oily skin so yes you want to mattify so that's it you can i've seen on youtube people do multiple layers of this to mattify and make their face look paper dry no shine at all and do like multiple layers but because of the dry time i usually don't have enough time for that i'm usually just like okay i'm a quick powder the spots that are still oily looking i don't think they're actually oily i think they're just shiny but if that makes sense so i'm like i don't have time for multiple layers there's one well well quadrillions of multiple layers like i can't do one one two like i could do one one grab my stuff try to get out the door because i'm already late so unfortunately that's my life i'm got still working on me um, so these two, I really, really love them. They're really, really great. Um, not to say that these are the only ones or that there's no other setting spray. I still love All Nighter by Urban Decay. Um, still love Fix Plus if I'm trying to do more of a satin skin kind of look. There are a lot of great setting sprays out there. I still want to try that one size one. I'm waiting a little bit till y'all buy all the white spray ones <laughs> out the store. And then I'm going to go back and get one. But I really, really like... Um, those setting sprays so um as you can see we're almost to the point where it's fully mattified except for the places with the highlighter that are supposed to be shiny but um love 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 both of these setting sprays if you can only get one if you have dry skin get the charlotte tilbury if you have oily skin get the milk if you have combination skin get the milk um because this is still more towards the oily side in my opinion but thank you so much for watching this video if you have any other questions about these two setting sprays leave them in the comment section below i know that i was searching so much to find like a this versus that because i was interested in both of them so i was like let me make a video with both of them in there i really think that setting spray is so important um there's even some times where I'll spray my face before I do my makeup, then do my makeup, and then spray it again because I know that that setting spray is going to really help to lock in. Not just I have a little um, foundation on around my mouth, but lock in the foundation, lock in the eyeshadow, the brows. Like You just don't want your makeup to move once you start sweating when you go outside. And these two products are going to help do that. So thank you so much for coming to the channel. Like the video if you like the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.